Yo, what's going on, gang? Today we have the new COD X Fallout bundle. It's a collaboration they have coming out. I think it's really cool. Though I never played the game Fallout, but the series came out. I watched it. It's actually a pretty good show. Um, and it's pretty cool right now with Warzone and bunkers being such a big thing. Going into Black Ops Six, they kind of it's like their theme lately. I you know past four years, all the big Warzone maps pertain back to bunkers for all the Easter eggs. You know, I mean kind of repetitive but at least they're going to a franchise that actually specializes in bunkers and that's fallout it's a pretty cool bundle so they have a trailer i want to see that and then kind of break down everything they put in today's blog update uh for exactly what's going to be um crossing over so here we go I guess that's a whole trailer right there. It's kind of crazy to see the pit boys. Like they wear these full pit boys. They have like obviously the vault tech uh, suits on. The guns are all vault tech themed. You know, all the branding, everything like that. They even showed like the dog that runs around with the ghoul at one point. I guess maybe they're trying to like showcase him as the ghoul. You know, with like the German Shepherd kind of going crazy. Not too sure, but it is pretty cool to see everybody with their pit boys on. Uh, to kind of get off into the patch notes here, uh, let's see. It uh, just kind of has like some dialogue that talks about like the crossover itself. Um, anywho, here we go. So two Fallout theme weapon blueprints are coming. Uh, we are going to have the M16. Uh, it looks pretty cool. It's the let's see, Vault Tech approved M16 blueprint is what it's called. Uh, it kind of shows all the different attachments, stuff like that it has. And then it says, for closer fights, opt in for the Atomic Dis uh, Disintegrator. It's an HRM9 weapon blueprint. Uh, they didn't showcase this in the photo. I'm surprised they didn't show this in the blog update. Uh, but it looks like the HMR9 or HRM9 is going to have an update as well. It stinks that it, it's, it might be meta again. I'm not too sure. Usually when they have a huge release like this and they showcase and advertise it this heavy, uh usually they do nerfs and buffs accordingly to make the weapons meta so we might see a rise in the m16 especially with it being full auto now uh, and then the hrm might see um a meta spot again where it was at one point uh you get four vault 141 operator skins i obviously i guess it's you know it's soap uh captain price ghost mctavish i think i think it's going to be or i guess gaz is the fourth not mctavish so uh we'll get those four uh the two weapon blueprints uh, a couple charms a calling card a couple decals emblem stickers uh six loading screens including nuka cola standby uh survivor's journey sanctuary hills uh it says don't miss the in-game fallout vault dwellers event appearing alongside with the bundle featuring challenges across multiplayer zombies and warzone Use any of the Vault Dweller skins during the Vault Dweller's event for an additional XP boost. Earn additional Fallout-themed cosmetic items like the new California Republic large decal, uh, Nuka-Cola caps emblem, the Slocum's Joe sticker, uh, Nuka-Cola charm, and the Nuka-Cola quantum weapon camo. Hopefully that looks awesome. Uh, it says the Fallout event begins at 10 a.m. Pacific time on June 20th and ends at uh, 8 a.m. on the 26th. So we'll have it the week uh, of the 20th through the 26th, which is coming in two days. We'll get it Thursday. That's what it's looking like, gang. So, anywho, if you are new to the channel, enjoy the content. If you are excited for a crossover like this that is relevant to this game, hit that sub button, man. Crush that like button. I'll catch you all tomorrow for another heater. Let's get it.